So what we're trying to do is uh, predict epileptic seizures in patients before they happen. And the way that we do this is by using machine learning. Now the reason why you may want to use machine learning is because it adapts to each patient. So different patients have very different seizures. And so there's no good one-fits-all model. Uh, so what we did was develop a machine learning algorithm that uh, learns each patient's unique seizure patterns. So this is the data that we have gotten from UT Health that again comes directly from the brain. Um, we're working with doctors there that record patients for about two weeks. So you can kind of see the exact um, EEG data that we have. So you take this data and you transform it into an energy statistic. And then based on these energy statistics, we can tell whether they're normal or not. Over here is the board that does all this processing. So it takes in this IEG data, processes it, and then it creates this energy statistic, extracts that, and then it decides whether or not the patient is in seizure state. So this problem is multifaceted. Um, it involves solving uh, using machine learning techniques, and this involves uh, many disciplines, uh, including uh, statistics, applied mathematics, uh, computer science, and electrical engineering. Our goal is to end up having a prototype of the actual neurostimulator that will go inside the patient's uh, skull. Um, so this year we've worked on predicting the seizures and next year uh, the team is probably going to start working on uh, ways of effectively stimulating the brain. That is, how can you shock the brain in just the right way to get the seizure to stop happening?